I'm Hal Diley, and you're watching Snyder's Riders. Rather than waiting for the day before, start weeks in advance. We're about three weeks out from our trip. Now is the time that I want to see if I can get this on in a safe, efficient, and secure manner. Things we always try to do is get stuff that's made specifically for your bike. This is part of the Harley Davidson luggage collection. I know it's meant to fit this bike, but we still want to try it out, do a dry run before it's that day before, and you discover something just isn't working. So let's see how we do getting this on. taking along a second helmet. I'll have a full face margin of helmet. I'm also taking along a half shell in case it's extremely hot out there to ride. Also, I like putting something high vis and reflective on the back of my bike. Remember, even though I'll be wearing high vis, when you put all this black gear behind you during the day, that's all that people see. Now there is reflective material built into this, but again, having some high vis up high is a great idea. All right, so this is a quick run through, but I now see what I got to do. I can check how stable this all is. I can add some additional bungee cords if needed. I also want to check on the back of my bike that none of my gear is hanging over the signals. That's often a mistake. Even once people start riding, they don't realize their gear is shifting. It is covering those vital signals of your brake light and or your turn signals. So always step behind your bike. Make sure you still have enough clearance for all those lights before you take off. I'm Hal Dottie with Snyder's Riders, and this is Trip Tips.